Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to explain exactly what's, what's happening with Sidney Powell. CNBC, pro-Trump lawyer Sidney Powell says no reasonable person believes election claims were statements of fact. Here is what took place. Powell, Giuliani, others stated claims without direct evidence. Very similar. I am abiding by YouTube policies. I am not furthering or speculating or trying to undermine the integrity of our election system. I am not doing what Democrats have done for four years, blaming Russia for Facebook ads that swung people from Clinton to Trump and investigating and calling Trump illegitimate and all of these, uh, purchasing a dossier to undermine and to just disparage an incoming president based on the fantasies of Bill Clinton. Oh my goodness, I remember those days. Those were good times. Luckily, I wrote them all down in the Steele dossier. Democrats purchased a dossier. Baseless allegations purchased in a nice uh, binder or folder called a dossier. And they had a high to moderate confidence assessment that was confirmed. So the director of national intelligence, James Clapper, wrote a report that stated with high to moderate confidence, nothing, no direct evidence, no statement that was categorical or based on certainty or fact. A report based on confidence levels that was th- that was then confirmed by the Senate, the Republican Senate, and then they indicted 18 Russian intelligence officials based on Company One. Read the indictment. Company One was outsourced by the Democratic Party. This is all the well, Washington Post, um, you know, the New York Times. Um, sourced, like you can look, this is public knowledge. So I am not claiming at all that Sidney Powell was correct. In fact, I have always stated what she was doing is engaging in hyperbole, conjecture. She was making claims based on suspicion. Hyperbole, conjecture, and suspicion Based on claims made, for example, and there's a White House report from Peter Navarro. She, her ultimate goal, and Giuliani's ultimate goal, and this is not, I am abiding by YouTube policies and guidelines. I am not telling anyone what I think. I am reporting what they think. Or what they thought. They wanted to foster investigations. They wanted to foster probes because what they, they didn't think the outcome made sense to them based on certain factors that were perhaps written in a White House report. The fact that Democrats then say, well, you have no direct evidence. How dare you engage in hyperbole? Well, you bought a steel dossier. How dare you engage in conjecture and, um, you know, uh, accuse someone of breaking the law simply because of information you obtained from a source. Well, the uh, company won in the indictments paid by uh, the DNC. 18 Russian intelligence officials were the, the, were indicted not based on anything to do with the United States government deriving direct evidence. Again, I'm not, (laughs) the equivalency here is that conjecture and hyperbole and suspicion was leveled at President Trump. That fostered government-run and Republican and Democratic-led investigations. So Democrats, actually Trump's rivals are not, like, it's really not the Democratic Party. The Republicans did him in. The Republicans did themselves in by not supporting a Republican president and investigating a Republican president. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Hit subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Tell your friends about this channel. Get these segments going. This is very important. Nobody is explaining this because this is the reality of the situation. Sidney Powell 
and Rudy Giuliani and others made claims without any direct evidence. Democrats have called these claims baseless. They were based on the same conjecture and hyperbole and suspicion, just in a different uh, in a different scenario as Democrats leveled against Trump. You can read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, The Daily Caller, The Roanoke Times on hagoodman.com. You can see my debates. If you want to support my voice long term, my Patreon is below. When, when, when she, she says no reasonable person, so they, they, um, they don't really use all her quotes, but they, you know, kind of break apart her quotes. No reasonable person would believe that her false theories were truly a statement of fact. That's because she, she parsed, they all, they, they parsed their words. Giuliani and Powell stated, well, we have sources. This is what, I mean, the Atlantic literally published a groundbreaking article saying that Trump disparaged fallen Americans based on a source, the Washington Post, which is nonsense. He didn't. There's no evidence of that, but they made a baseless claim, but it's called journalism. And uh, the Washington Post literally fabricated quotes attributed to Trump. They said Trump said this in a transcript and it was based on a source. But that's called journalism. So it's very difficult to, 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 to prove that a company that was the subject of what Giuliani and Powell uh, claimed was at the center of all of this or one of the topics of discussion lost any income or will lose any revenue because the int- all of media said how dare you this is not true it's the big lie the big truth was that trump worked with russia to buy facebook ads yes and then he he liked uh certain types of showers in the in a moscow hotel room and and um you know uh what else uh you know he uh I, the whole thing with Russia is the big truth to them, even though it's based on no direct evidence. And Mueller found, stated the evidence was insufficient. So nobody was indicted on working alongside Russia. It never happened. We interfere in the elections of other countries. Other countries try to either buy Facebook ads. Or, I mean, not one vote was altered according to um, the intelligence officials. <laughs> And yet they still complained and they and they investigated Trump based on allegations, conjecture, suspicion, and hyperbole. And they did not, they would not, and they will not ever allow the same type of rhetoric to be leveled against them. So you can read, I mean, this is all legalese. Determining whether a statement is protected involves a two-step inquiry, Powell's lawyers wrote in the filing in Washington federal court. Is the statement one which can be proved true or false? (laughs) They engaged in hyperbole and conjecture based on either sources or what they felt didn't make sense. When Trump defeated Clinton, the entire liberal public relations monstrosity did not feel it made sense. So they said Trump was capable of anything. And they said, well, dossier, yeah. And they still try. They were trying to prove the dossier correct up until maybe a, like a year ago. And it was completely fabricated and complete nonsense. They purchased lies and gossip about Trump. They literally took money in a transaction and purchased a dossier. Okay, Trump didn't do that. What Giuliani and Powell did was, instead of purchasing a dossier, they said, well, we have sources and this doesn't make sense. And they engaged in hyperbole, conjecture. Uh, They they felt a great deal of suspicion. And, um, and, and, And they made claims without any direct evidence. And then, quote, is the statement one which can be tr- proved true or false? And would reasonable people conclude that the statement is one of fact in light of its phrasing, context, and circumstances around its publication? 
Analyzed under these factors, no reasonable person could conclude that the statements were truly statements of fact. That's the whole point, ladies and gentlemen. And that's something that I had been, I've been trying to tell you. President Trump, Giuliani, Powell, Peter Navarro, they did not make statements of fact or certainty. Okay? There were no statements of fact or certainty leveled against Trump. What was leveled against Trump was hyperbole, conjecture, suspicion, and that all led to investigations. What Powell, Giuliani, and Trump, and President Trump and others stated was, well, we don't have direct evidence because they didn't have direct evidence. But this doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, we have sources that say this and, and here, here are some uh, affidavits and all that. So that's what they, I mean, Democrats absolutely love, they absolutely love to legitimize their suspicion through investigations. Their investigation, they're investigating Trump's taxes on what he could possibly have done. They're literally they're looking for a crime. They've been looking for crimes, you know, because things don't make sense to them. They've been upset. It's been 24, 25, 26 days now since February 25th. And they've yet to find anything. They've had his taxes. They've obsessed over his taxes for four years, five years, and now they have the tax and they, nothing. So that's the issue. These are, these are like, Democrats now have tried to, in the most vapid and, like, inept manner, even though it, it actually works for them, so it's not inept, but what they do is they play these semantic games. These are, this is like a philosophy, like, listening to anything Democrats say, or the Washington Post, New York Times, anything they, they write, it, it's, you, you almost need to, like, pass a philosophy of language course. And th these are all semantic games. You know, the big lie as, co as compared to, in, in contrast to the big truth. So when <laughs> they didn't have any direct evidence that Trump pressured Zelensky, they impeached him anyway. There was no direct evidence. That's a fact. There was no direct evidence Trump worked with Russia. They investigated anyway. There's no direct evidence that Trump compelled anyone to commit any crimes. They impeached him the second time anyway. That's why the mayor of D.C. and the attorney general of D.C. have never le leveled charges at Trump. And, no, and, and he's never faced charges directly. No, he's never faced criminal charges. If indeed he had compelled and, and, and told people to go and do those things those horrible things, which I condemn. Like, there shouldn't have been protests that day. I was saying that from day one. But there should have been a dialogue, discourse, debate, discussion. There, there, there wasn't because President Trump was fixated on communicating through Twitter, which at that point became a, a like, you know, quicksand, just a pitfall of... It, it was a cyber a cauldron of angst and contempt and venom against Trump that fostered political momentum for Democrats. Now they don't have political momentum. They have crises. They have numerous crises going on right now. But the big story is going to be, oh my goodness, it's not a statement in fact. They never stated it was a statement in fact. It was generally they always stated, we don't believe we have sources that tell us um, this almost certainly happened. They might have made statements, in fact. Like, they might have said, this happened. I'm not sure. I, 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 I'm, from what I re remember, what I read, there was, it was always, you know, um, they always, they never stated with certainty anything. It was just conjecture and hyperbole based on suspicion because they didn't think the outcome made sense, which is exactly what the other political side did, except the other political side has government and all of Hollywood and social media algorithms and everything. So 
Again, a statement of fact is a fact check is, uh, and also they they um, they weren't necessarily <clears throat> they weren't necessarily talking about specific kinds of misconduct or criminal activity. What media has said is, oh well, are are you are you saying that? Are you saying that um, this type of criminal activity took place? And then in, in a court of law, they might say, the lawyer might say, well, no, not that specific. You see, you see, they're all lying. It's like, anyway, there were a whole lot of accusations leveled. The accusations were based on the same type of hyperbole and conjecture and innuendos and um, type of rhetoric that was leveled against Trump four years ago. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Um, in a way, Powell has admitted something, but has always kind of stated she didn't have direct evidence. They never had direct evidence, which is their what their goal was, was to foster, I, I don't know, I am assuming their goal should have been, by the way, to foster investigations or probes based on the the allegations that were leveled, which is exactly what their political rivals were able to obtain. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Uh, be here in a couple of